In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can make any pre-dilution for your raw materials in perfumery. So in perfumery, perfumers frequently pre-dilute their raw materials to a certain percentage before they start working with them. That's because the pure raw materials can be very strong on their own, and it can be much easier to do your blending when you've pre-diluted some of your raw materials. So for example, you may see something such as lemon essential oil at 10% or hedione at 20% inside a formula. One question that I sometimes get asked is, if I have a raw material and I want to achieve a certain percentage as a pre-dilution, how can I work out the maths in order to work out how much of this to add to how much of that in order to create my pre-dilution? At the end of this video, you'll be able to calculate how to create any pre-dilution that you want to create yourself, even if it's a really weird number like 3% or 2.5%. So then, what is a pre-dilution? Well, a pre-dilution is simply when you take one of your raw materials and you pre-dilute it in a solvent or the solvent you're using for your final fragrance product. And there are a number of reasons you may want to do this. Firstly, this really helps you evaluate or learn how to smell the material at a reasonable level. And secondly, it may be useful in blending because it means that you don't have to use your pure raw materials when blending, but you can actually use these pre-dilutions instead. And overall, this can help you save raw materials by using smaller amounts of them, especially when they're quite expensive. So the first thing we need to do when creating a pre-dilution is obviously to choose the pre-dilution we wish to make. So I'm gonna call that our desired percentage. So let's say I've got some lavender essential oil and I wanna pre-dilute it and make it uh, less concentrated, so I wanna dilute it down. I might decide that I wanna dilute it down to 10%, for example. Now, what that means is I want to create a bottle, essentially, where I've got one part lavender essential oil to nine parts of my solvent, and usually because I'm doing fine fragrance, that's alcoholic perfumery, that solvent is simply gonna be my perfume as alcohol, or my ethanol. Now, if you're doing a different kind of perfumery and you're using a different base, say oil-based perfumery, your solvent is gonna be oil or whatever you're using instead of the perfumer's alcohol. But for now, we're just gonna keep things simple and say that our solvent is perfumer's alcohol. When we're making this pre-dilution to 10%, all that's really saying is out of all of the liquid in the bottle, only 10% of it is gonna be our lavender essential oil, the rest of it is gonna be the solvent. So, in order to work out how much of each thing you need to add, it's not too difficult, but you basically need to wrap your head around some of the maths of percentages. So what I'm gonna do is actually walk you through a formula which you can use to work out the amount of each thing that you need to add in any situation that you might want. So for a given situation, what we usually wanna do is take our starting raw material and dilute it down to a certain percentage. Now in order to work out the amount of each thing, that will be the raw material, and how much of your solvent or your perfume as alcohol you need to add, in order to work all that out, really there's only one simple formula that you need to know. So the formula that you need to use is as follows. Firstly, you wanna take the desired dilution that you want, so in my example from before, that's gonna be 10%, and then you need to go and divide that by the original dilution of the thing you're using. So let's say you're using pure lavender essential oil, then your original dilution, let's say, is 100%, and that's because 100% of that lavender essential oil is lavender essential oil, you know, it's not already been diluted. So we wanna to go to 10%, which means we're gonna do 10, the desired dilution, divided by 100, or the original dilution. Now we've got that 0.1, we wanna go and take that number and we wanna go and multiply it by the amount of the pre-dilution in total that we want to make. So I'm gonna call this the desired quantity. So what we wanna do is let's say that we wanna go and make 10 grams of our new pre-dilution. So that would be to say we've got a bottle and we wanna have in total at the end of the whole thing, 10 grams of the pre-dilution. Well, we're gonna take that 0.1 that we just calculated, and we're gonna go and multiply it by 10, the total amount that we wanna make, and that's gonna leave us with one, because 0.1 times 10 is one. Now that number, so one in our case, that is actually the amount of grams that you need to add of your raw material to the bottle of the pre-dilution. So that's the first step, putting in the raw material. Next, we simply need to add the solvent or the perfume as alcohol, so the remainder of the dilution, the actual thing we're using to dilute the first thing. So all we need to do to work out this 
is to firstly go back to that value, the quantity that you wish to make in total of your pre-dilution, and then we subtract from that the quantity of the raw material that we just calculated, or the quantity of the raw material that we've just gone and added to the bottle. So in this case, the desired quantity for the pre-dilution was 10 grams, we want to make 10 grams of this stuff, and then we need to subtract from that the one gram of raw material which we already put in. So 10 minus one is nine, and that is the amount of solvent that we need to go and add. So now, again, we're gonna go back to our bottle and we need to add nine grams of perfumer's alcohol. And that's all there is to it. Now the whole amount that we've added is 10 grams. One gram of that is the raw material, and the other nine grams are the solvent. So just like we said at the beginning of the video, now we've got a bottle of 10% of our raw material, i.e. the lavender essential oil is 10% of the total liquid in the bottle. So hopefully you managed to follow along so far. Now we're gonna move to the next stage, which is what if the raw material that you're starting with is already pre-diluted? So say it's not a pure raw material, but say for example, you bought some raw material from a supplier and they supplied it at 50%, or let's just say you decided to make a pre-dilution already at something like 50% and now you want to go and dilute it further to make it a dilution with a lower percentage. So with the example from before, let's say um, this time we have rosemary essential oil and let's say it already is pre-diluted to 50%. But again, let's go and say we want to make it a 10% dilution to match our lavender essential oil. Well, once again, we can simply use the same formula. So we're gonna take the desired dilution and divide that by the original dilution. So the desired dilution this time is still 10 because we want to make 10%, but now the original dilution is 50%. So we're gonna do 10 divided by 50 and that works out to be 0.2. So again, we're gonna take our number that we've calculated, in this case 0.2, and now we want to multiply that by the desired quantity. So let's say this time we only wanna make five grams because we don't need that much of our pre-dilution for rosemary. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 0.2 and times that by five. So 0.2 times five is one gram. So this time we're gonna make one gram of the raw material or that's how much we're gonna use in our pre-dilution. That's how much we're gonna weigh out and put into the bottle. Then again, to calculate the amount of solvent, so our perfumer's alcohol that we're gonna add, simply take the total desired amount, so in this case it was five grams, and then minus the amount of raw material that we just weighed out, in this case it was one gram, and that's gonna leave us with four grams. So four grams is how much alcohol we need to add to complete the pre-dilution. So I hope from this you can see that it's actually really easy. All you need is one formula, and if you follow that, you'll essentially be able to go from any uh, purity of raw material to make any dilution as long as it's weaker. If you wanna make something stronger, then you're out of luck. You're gonna to have to find a way of separating out the solvent from the raw material, which, if you're not a magician, is gonna be pretty difficult. But if you're trying to make something and you're trying to dilute it down so it's weaker, all you need to do is follow this formula. Now, another question you may ask is, well, what if I wanna make a really extreme dilution, say something like 1%? Now, if you do the formula, you'll realize that in this situation, you need one part of your raw material for 99 parts of your solvent. And unless you have um, really big amounts, sometimes this may be too much to make. So a little trick that you can do is first go from the pure raw material to the 10% dilution, and then simply go from your 10% dilution to your 1% dilution. Again, if you wanted to go down to 0.1% or something even smaller, then you can just go down from your 1% to your 0.1%. So if you go and take it in bite-sized chunks like that, then the amount of raw material and the amount of solvent you need to add will always be roughly comparable, which means you should always be able to weigh it out on your scale without having either a really accurate scale to the point where you can't weigh it out or having to use so much that it's really inconvenient. So that's something that I would recommend you do. Now, if that's still too much mass for you, there is another option. If you have a Mac, iPad, or iPhone, what you can go and do is download for free the Formula app, which I created for Perfumery. And inside of that app, there is a really handy calculator in order to essentially do these same calculations without you having to actually type it into a calculator yourself. So if you go into the Formula app, and then you go to the card for your raw material, 
All you need to go and do is add a new dilution by pressing add dilution entry, and that will represent the new pre-dilution which you wish to create for your raw material. Then all you need to do is press the little FX icon, and that will bring up a pop-up which allows you to type in the values needed to do this calculation. So it will say, what is the dilution you're starting with? That's what's the original dilution. So in our first example with the lavender essential oil, that would be 100 because it's 100%. We're starting from the pure thing. And then you simply need to type in how much do I want to create? So again, say that you wanted to go and create 10 grams, you just type in 10 and then you press submit and that will do the calculation for you and a little pop-up will appear and that should give us the exact same results as doing it manually and that will get you a pre-dilution. Anyway, that's all there is to it. So hopefully you learned a couple of methods to work out pre-dilutions in this video if you were having trouble with that before. If you like this video, do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That will make it so that you see all the new videos I release every week on perfumery with little tips and tricks and things like formulas. So if you don't want to miss out on those, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, that's it for the video. I'll see you next time with another one.